This training is designed to educate the land-based firefighter to the marine environment and all the logistics and the processes necessary to help combat a marine fire aboard a ship, whether you know it's at a dock, whether it's in the anchorage, or whether it's on the way offshore. We have folks that have attended this year from the Netherlands, from Singapore, South Africa, Canada, and then, a, uh, then our domestic partners within the states, including Hawaii, are here this year. What brought me to this training is that we want to improve the quality of our training to our seafarers and also to all our international uh, partners. And in South Africa we don't currently have this type of training, so we want to broaden our horizons to make it more uh, safe for our seafarers and people in our ports. We and uh, my colleagues working for the, the Royal Dutch Navy and we've heard of the training thinking big. That's, that's the main reason we're, we're here. With a lot of engines, a lot of companies to go through a process for, for fighting fire on ship. As a group, we've been taking a course on marine firefighting and spent the last week learning about shipboard firefighting, the dangers of ship, shipboard firefighting, and how to mitigate any shipboard fires or potential fires. Understanding and learning how to use ship systems. In this particular scenario today, here we are aboard the Cape Race in Portsmouth uh, and they are doing several different skill stations. The one that you're out right now at this moment teaches them how to advance hose lines down and attack a fire down below deck in an engine room, which is probably one of the most dangerous things that a land-based firefighter can do on a ship. We uh, had a pretend engine room fire on a row row, which is a roll on roll off boat. We sent crews in, two crews at a time with hand lines, one's pretend foam, one is pretend water, and put all of our skills to use that we've learned over the last week. What this exercise taught you is what can happen. How many people it takes to do this? What happens when you put too many people down here? It's more of a drill of us understanding what to do and how to do it learning how to communicate with each other in close spaces, learning how to move in tight spaces, and making sure we can stay safe in an even more dangerous environment than what we're actually used to. And then also for command staff and officers, making sure that we understand the command structure, how to use uh, everything that we have available to us for tools, and be able to effectively fight that fire and get our crews off the ship in one piece. The second component is they, they climb Jacob's ladders, or better known as pilot's ladders, and they also learn about vessel systems, CO2, ventilation, and, and those items. And you can actually direct CO2 from the truck through the manifold and down into the spaces. All right. The third station is the stability station, where they learn about stability on how water that's being flowed onto a vessel, how it can impact the stability, and how to correct that with dewatering. The last piece is what we call a treasure hunt, where they take the fire control plan, you know, which is a document that, that shows the arrangement of the vessel and all the safety and firefighting equipment. And they have to walk around and find the components by looking at the plan as a map and be able to, to find those items that have been identified. Uh, I've been working here in at this uh, conference for over 20 years. Uh, and it's a, certainly an honor and a pleasure to be here in Hampton Roads and be working with these people. You have a tremendous system here, uh, very, very advanced and, and very complete. We hope that the biggest thing they did is a networking piece, all right? When they go back to their, to, to their ports is to start to establish those relationships with all the port partners that they, that they have in their port community. We're trying to stress to them that they need to look outside of their resources that a fire department or police department may have because typically they won't have all the resources nor would they have all the personnel and the expertise or the specialized fields that need to um, to handle a marine event. If you are in any way shape or form going to be fighting a fire on board a ship it is not like structural firefighting a lot of things are different the basics are the same 
how, how you get fire and make fire, it's the same. It's about it. <laughs> There's a lot to it, and I, I think that anybody would be remiss to not take the opportunity to take this course. It's, it's nice to interact with different people because we get to learn from each other, experience each other's different ways of doing things, and uh, sharing knowledge is, is, is just there's no words to describe it, it's just brilliant.